Okay. Oh, hold up. All right, good morning, everyone. Today we're going to be discussing my CRL run a little bit from yesterday and also playing Tall Bladder. Dude, I don't know why my thumbnail designer made a side king emote as the thumbnail because honestly, I'm pretty happy with my CRL run. Of course, I wanted to get top one and get the golden ticket and stuff, but I'm just happy to even be in the top eight at all. There's only a few other people in the world who did as well as me this month, so yeah, really happy with that. Anyways, I did see some people playing Royal Hogs. Well, actually, just one person playing Royal Hogs at top ladder, so I might actually try to play it again. I thought piggies were dead, but maybe they're not completely unviable. I think I'll play a tiny bit of Giant. I didn't play this Giant deck before, so I don't think I'll do too well with it, but we can switch to piggies after, or something else if we have to. Good to see all of you. Hello, Waterman. Hi, Rubik's. Where is everyone? The stream just started like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> Do you think Splash Art is dying? I mean, it's not dying, but it's just not that good. Yo, Rom's Realist, didn't expect to see you, man. Wait, I think this guy's playing Splash Art, as a matter of fact. Not sure, though. Okay, I guess I guess the answer to your question is no, because this guy is playing Splash Art at top ladder. I don't know how we're going to break through, to be honest. I'm not exactly sure about this giant deck. It just feels kind of weird. Oh, it's actually minor. That was kind of a bad set of interactions, to be honest. Dude, I heard Miner gets 1,100 damage on the new tower if it if it has zero daggers right when the Miner comes down, which is kind of sad. I mean, I guess I'll just arrows here. I feel like we're going to get wrecked, to be honest. I don't even know what he's doing. Why would he spam a knight at the bridge for no reason? That's a pretty dumb play. He's probably going to get away with it, though. He's going to get his king tower up, which is going to make it pretty much impossible for us to break through. Bro, we're so dead. I just bought a suit since school starts tomorrow. I'm dripped out. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Let's go. I'm going to push in the opposite lane. The thing is, he can't really get too much minor damage unless he tanks for it with something. Oh, guys, I think I'll make a, a, I'll make a video on the ban issue tomorrow, I think. Yo, good to see you, Faith. I'm doing pretty good. I was just I was just resting a bit after CRL to be honest. It was a fun time, but yeah, it does take a lot of energy. So what this guy's basically just stole Mohammed Light's deck, I guess. I think. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Dude, I don't know what the heck we're supposed to do with this King Tower up, especially. I mean I don't even know if there's a whole lot we can do actually. Bro, this is so annoying. I mean, I kind of like playing these decks sometimes, but at the same time, it, like, if you face a hard matchup, you just can't break through. Like, there's not really much I can do to outplay here. Even if he makes a mistake, he probably can still get away with it most of the time. He's probably going to get a really good poison, yeah. Dude, he's just, look, he's just playing so bad, but he's going to get away with it and probably win, honestly. So, I don't know, I, I might try the Piggy Cycle deck instead. I missed you yesterday. Yeah, I missed you guys too. Ooh, didn't catch the minor with the Night Witch, unfortunately. Still not terrible, though. Yeah, I didn't stream yesterday because I just wanted to fix my schedule after CRL. The CRL kind of got my schedule messed up a bit, so I had to just reset. Maybe I could have played the Giant in front of the Night Witch. Dude, I don't even know what the heck we can do here. I feel like this Giant deck is just very momentum-based. If you have a good momentum... In a match, he's probably going to monitor the back this time. Oh, he doesn't. We actually do catch it. But then he just gets a free poison, and now he probably already won the game. I think Phoenix will go in front of our giant. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I feel like we already lost, even though I'm playing kind of bad. Just want to get rid of the little prince, to be honest. Yeah, okay, I can't lie, I'm playing very bad this game. Snipe Hunter, he's streaming too. Dude, I almost want to try. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Alright, you know what, guys? We have to go back to piggies. <laughs> okay, I actually, maybe I'll play one more game with this deck. I just don't really like it much, though. To be honest. 
Dude, if you don't get a good momentum at the start with this deck, I feel like you just get destroyed like this. It depends so much on your momentum. Look at number two player. I'm pretty sure number two player is playing piggies, isn't he? Pretty sure I got my piggies deck off of him. I don't even know what's really happening here. We're just... I don't know. <laughs> spamming random cards. We desperately need a, need a crown talk after all this drama. We do actually have a crown talk coming very soon. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's maybe a slight chance to do something here, but just a little bit tough with the king tower. Maybe if you didn't get the early king tower, you could do something. But I feel like this giant deck really just relies off your opponent's mistakes. If your opponent doesn't make a mistake or if they have a good matchup, then I don't know what you even do. Ian splits giant giants at the bridge. Wait, what do you mean? Okay, I'll try another with this. I, I feel like this deck does a lot better against... I wouldn't say beatdown decks, but... I mean, it could definitely work against some beatdown decks. Maybe, maybe better than that. Dude! No, Marcus, Marcus, bro. Someone said I laughed so hard when you showed your biceps in CR. Dude, I wasn't trying to. So basically, they put us on camera in CRL, right? And then I had my camera, and I was just like, okay, they're going to show my camera during the matches. So between matches, I'm like, okay, you know, I can, like, see my biceps, you know, because I was just planning, okay, if I beat someone, I'll probably flex my biceps, you know, flex for the people. And then, dude, but they were showing the camera between matches, too. I didn't even know. I didn't know they were showing the camera, so I was just, like, flexing in the thing, trying to look at how I, how I was looking and stuff like that. I didn't even realize people saw that. <laughs> and I was flexing like 10 times. I hope you guys didn't see all of that. Hope you guys didn't see all 10 of my flexes. All right, I guess I hope you guys do. You know, just just giving a good show for you guys. <laughs> Seahawk, welcome to the chat, man. He said, what is your honest opinion about Rolex? Dude, he got destroyed. But I will say he did beat Morton, huh? Um, yeah, I, I just don't think he's very good, honestly. But he did, I guess he did do a good job against Morton. Why did you lose to Morton? I mean, Morton's a great player, so... Yeah. Definitely the first match against Morton I should have won, but... The third match, I don't know, I could have had a chance, just a little bit tough. It was kind of a close game. Wait, don't tell me this is the same deck once again that we just lost to. Bro, this better not be the same deck we just got, got destroyed by. <laughs> we liked the show. <laughs> Wait, did you guys see me flexing like 10 times? What do you think of CR banning everyone? I'm going to make a video on it tomorrow on my main channel. Okay, it's not the same deck, but it looks like probably a very similar deck to what we just faced. I mean, I guess I'll just go in for this. You know, I could have played the ability, not really sure though. Oh, it is Goblin Drill. Interesting drill placement. Yeah, that was a that was a horrible goblin drill. What the heck was that for? I had way too high expectations. Couldn't picture you choking and panicking like weird. Honestly, I didn't really panic at all. I, I was actually pretty proud of myself for that. I was I was very calm and collected. Just just like a couple of the games, one or two of the games, I needed like a little bit of a better game plan, but yeah. Someone said Ian on ladder strong, Ian and CRL clown. I got top six, pal. Dude, Pyro Barney is so weird, man. I think it's a girl, but dude, dude Pyro Barney, why are, you, why are you always acting so nice sometimes, but then other times just writing the weird, the most odd comments ever? Not that I really care that much, but that just kind of strange behavior. Okay, he's probably going to drill here again on our pump. I don't know why he keeps on going for the drill like that, though. Hmm, okay, that was low-key not a bad drill for him. Hmm, the issue is we can't really, um... Can't really kill the Little Prince without our Evo Zap. Oh, he misplaced the Tesla. That's amazing. Pyro Bunny was hating in Hunter's stream. Yeah, I, I don't know. Pyro Bunny is a little bit odd. Either I see, like, a really nice comment from Pyro Barney or a very, a very hate comment from Pyro Barney. Like, you have to decide which one. Do you want, do you want to be a hater or a supporter? You gotta decide. I'm just going to Giant the Bridge. We have a pretty big push. That's a free poison, yes, but... I mean, our Giant's still going to do something, I guess. Yeah, I just don't know exactly how, what we're going to do to break through here. We'll see, though. Definitely could pull something. 
I feel like we just go in again, guys. We're up so much elixir. This is insane. He's mad hunter made me mod. <laughs> Faith, I don't know how, but you somehow got mod on everyone's stream. I mean, I feel like it's just because you're always there. That's why we decided to all make you mod. Faith is the most famous mod right now. Okay, that's not bad damage. I'm just going to go in once again. I feel like we just spam here. Look, his tower's out of ammo, so what is he going to do? He's probably going to poison soon, yeah. That's why I didn't want to spam, like, too much, but... We're still just getting better and better pushes here. Look, you can see this giant deck is just rinse and repeat. You get some pumps down, and then you just spam, spam, spam. And he can't really do much about it. Okay, that's a free Evo Bomber if I've ever seen one. He does block it, but our giant's on the tower. I'm just going to say thanks. Good game. I don't mean to be toxic to him, but, you know, this deck is pretty toxic, so you got to at least be a little bit toxic. <laughs> Ian, two twenty-five pounds were easy. Oh yeah, guys, make sure to make sure to run up that post that I just posted on Instagram. Look, yeah, just, I just made a new post for my number one exercise to increase your bench press. Run it up, run it up. En seven seven lifts. I guess I'll keep on playing this, but I may go to piggies if I feel like it later. Faith is a faithful mod. <laughs> Congratulations, bro. You and Alan did very well. Yeah, we had a great time. Yeah, and I hope you don't ban me if I get a legendary drop and I unlock your fitness Evo. <laughs> I'm gonna pull a supercell. The commentators always do that to Muhammad Light. I actually didn't see too much of it, but because I wasn't really watching those games, I was just watching. Well, I watched back a couple of the games of myself playing, but yeah, I think you, you might be right on that. But they're just doing their job, I guess. Riley said you cried like a little girl yesterday. Bro, what is he talking about? <laughs> I'm not really one to cry about things like that. It's more, more so Riley would cry if he faced a hard counter on ladder or something. <laughs> Dude, Riley actually gets so upset at the game sometimes, though. Not even joking. Jokes aside. Like, when I, when I see Riley get mad at facing some counter or something, I just stay quiet, because I don't want <laughs> to rile him up. <laughs> You know, I just played the fitness reels in the background for the music. <laughs> oh, you actually do that. Yeah, I was thinking some people actually probably do that. Molai just destroyed Adriel. Yeah, I feel like Adriel definitely had a chance, though, because I think he had a good matchup, like, in the Hall game, the very last game. He, he should have won that, but he just had a little bit of a choke right there. I can't blame him, though. It's against Mohamed Light. You're going to definitely, I guess, be a little bit nervous at least, right? I mean, anyone would be at least a little nervous. Someone said thumbs down. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're saying thumbs down to, though. Are you saying thumbs down to me or to, to what? <laughs> you know, I almost just want to go in here. Because what does he do to defend? We could lose, though, because he could get a huge elixir lead and we just lose here. Or we could get a very nice push and maybe actually win. I mean, honestly, I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. That zap was useless. See, I don't know if this is good or bad for us. Will he punish us, or do we just get away with that? Because if we get away with that, that's very good. I'm just going to pump up again. We can actually bomber kind of aggressively, try to kill his pump, and, uh, you know, force out elixir if not. Okay, I'm just going to evo zap this pump. Look, our evo zap's going to take a lot of elixir. Now I can moderate, someone said. Yeah, that's a pretty good Evo Zap, almost killing his whole pump, actually. I'm just going to Little Prince into this. I know he's going to try to get a very nice Evo Bomber, and he probably will get a nice Evo Zap later as well. So we have to just go for this Night Witch, kind of up high, trying to, you know, maybe not give too much value, although I'm sure he'll get quite a bit of value here with his stuff. But that was a very good defense, nonetheless. Okay, we're just defending easy. <laughs> Yo, this is so easy. Yeah, you can see that push was really good by us, that we went aggressive when he pumped up. Because I knew we could still take his tower and also probably survive after that, which we were able to do very easily. Just an outplay, just just a very nice outplay in a mirror matchup. He said, well played, well played to you. Well played to you, you have the same deck as me, why are you complaining about this? Well played to you, buddy. <laughs> I think the commentator said that you should stick to content or something like that. Dude, I don't think they said that. 
I saw like one or two people were saying that the commentators were 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 like cursing me or something like that, and they said they're trying to like say that I'm gonna get wrecked or something. And then I ended up beating Mugi, and then they quieted down a lot or something. I don't think they said that. Yeah, so, yeah, Chloe said they didn't say that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the commentators are quite nice to me actually. I don't know why a couple people said that. Yeah, cause I'm I'm pretty pretty good with Rich Slayton, and uh, I know Juicy J a bit. I do know Andrew Guy, uh, not not closely though, but yeah, I do know him. Someone said, "Yep, they said it." I don't think so, honestly. Yeah, they said the commentators were complimenting me. Whew. How big of a donut to open your legendary chests? Okay, w would you do it for one, or would you would I have to open all of them? For one of them, I would say. I would say ten dollars for one of them. Ten to fifteen dollars for one of them. <laughs> oh, dude, we have such a bad cycle. I think we have matchup here, but we just have such a bad cycle. You really want to have Night Witch in this situation, dude. We might have just lost. Hopefully not, though. If he goes in for a balloon, though, what do we even do? That's my question. I guess I'll still go in for the Night Witch. Okay, maybe not the best for us here. But to be fair, the Night Witch will do a good job. Honestly, kind of a bad start. If we had Night Witch in our starting hand, that would have been a lot better. Lava Hound is okay. Yeah, I think it's actually a good matchup if you get a good cycle. Well, I'm not sure. Maybe an okay matchup. Maybe not a good matchup, but at least okay. Not really sure, though. I'm still kind of new to this giant deck. Ooh. Maybe a little bit close of a bomber, but I feel like... Okay, that was actually pretty good. Wow, that was very good. He just got a negative 3 trade for no reason. <laughs> Dude, this guy's a crazy player, man. He's a Lava Hound crazy guy. You know, I kind of just wasted the zap for no reason right there. Just wanted to cycle, but at the same time, now we can't really kill the Inferno Dragon. Where's the chat commission from the 3k for emotional support? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, you're, maybe you have a point right there. You might have a small point right there. Okay, we'll see what he does here. Maybe I could have cycled back to my zap, but he does waste the freeze anyway, so I feel like that's all good for us right here. The commentators said they love your early GGs. Yeah, I actually saw one of the commentators... I think some of the commentators liked it, but some of them said that I was just, like, not confident, they thought, when I said that. But it's not that. No, I'm confident when I say it. I just, I just do it as some mind games, usually. He's gonna get a free barbs here, unfortunately. Maybe not the best giant, didn't really think he would uh, kill everything so quickly with that. But it's okay. Look, we have another push going, we have another push going. Can we get a giant in front of the Night Witch, please? He's gonna get a beautiful Evo Zap there, though, yeah. Oh, the bat didn't survive. Oh, dude, we might have just lost from that. Dude, I don't know, I thought this is a good matchup, but, but honestly, we're not doing too well. It's so hard to break through. It's not super hard to defend, though. Hmm. Dude, I don't like this at all. What do we even do here? I don't know. Dude, I feel like we're just dead. Bro, I think we're dead. Wait, hold up. Hold up, hold up, guys. Hold up, hold up. Hmm. Okay, that's not much, actually. Dude, I think we're gonna lose. I, I thought the Cannoneer would be a lot worse for him, but it's honestly not even doing a half bad job. Oh, I, I just realized that I feel like the main thing is the fact that he has Barbarians, because normally they never have Barbs in these Lava decks nowadays. That was a horrible Lava Hound. He's probably gonna get away with it, though. Dude, these meddling kids get away with everything, man. Oh, I was gonna say if that got a hit in our tower. We do get a nice Evo Bomber off here, though. Oh, our, our, our little Prince ability. Man, it took like 20 seconds to go off, but I think we might have got him. <laughs> Faith said, hold up. Yeah, I think we might have got him. Oh yeah, we have our Evo Zap, Evo Zap, Evo Zap. I think we got him. I'm doing a lot better than I expected with this giant deck that was pretty nice Whew.
Whew. Okay. Why did bro froze there? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. That Lava Hound player just messed up. I'm actually going to save this lucky drop for my video. I'm going to make a video on the ban situation explaining the lucky box glitch and stuff. You an opinion on your... On your Riley Hunter? Wait, wait, what Riley Hunter? Okay, we, with this deck you just want to cycle to the pump pretty early on. That's really how you play it. This is one of the top meta decks right now, surprisingly. I'm not sure if it'll stay that way though, because I feel like it's not super hard to counter if you have the right cycle deck, especially. So what, this is probably Goblin Drill? Maybe an Aerobait Giant deck could be good. I mean, there's no, there's not really any Aerobait Giant deck unless you're talking about like Sparky Giant with a bunch of Swarm cards. Oh, the Hunter against Tassia with Goblin Giant Sparky, dude. I, I kind of was thinking that it, that it might actually connect on my tower, but I just, I was just like, okay, maybe it won't do that. But then it actually ended up doing that. Wow, that was a beautiful bomber for us. Let's go. Great stuff right there. The Mighty Miner will die pretty quickly here. This could be something. He's gonna have to ability. Wait, why would he not ability? Wait, hold up, guys. Guys, I, I think this is smart. Guys, he's dead. Okay, he will probably ability, though. Wait, he doesn't ability. He's dead. He's literally dead. Dude, what just happened to him? Like, I, even me, personally, I have no idea what just happened to him. Okay, I guess he didn't die. Maybe a bit of an exaggeration by me, but... Um, you know. Still pretty good stuff. Pretty good start. Yeah, I thought he would die there. Evo Skelly's kind of saved him. But still, great start. <laughs> He's probably down a lot of Elixir too, still. He does go in for the drill like so. Does get a few... Oh, that was a lot of damage actually for him. It's definitely not game over yet, but it's looking pretty good. Ian, can I buy CR Merchant Finland or can only creators buy them with the points? No, you, you don't buy them in Finland. You just buy them with the points and they ship them to you. They just give you free merch in Finland. You don't buy anything. He does pop the ability there. I don't know why he would go for that Evo Bomber. That's a really not smart Evo Bomber. Just a free King Tower for us. Whew, I'm just glad we got a very good start because I feel like it's going to be very hard to break through now if he plays well. Yeah, bro, if I see another comment about this glitch, my, I explained it like 20 times, but people keep on asking because I guess they didn't. some people didn't see it yet. Ooh, we have to zap here too, I think. Maybe you didn't have to, but it's better to be safe. Hmm. I don't really know about his plays right there. I feel like we have something potentially going. Oh, I could have I could have waited for a second right there. Oh no, it hit the bomber still. I don't know how that hit the bomber. He lost. He could ability, but then his then his thing won't kill our giant. Okay, he's dead. Wow. Yeah, you can see this deck kind of just works somehow. It's just very weird. Well, you thought I said the B word? Okay, what are you saying, Faith? I never, never would say that. <laughs> Didn't Milo get hacked? Wait, what do you mean Milo get hacked? <laughs> Bro is just spreading misinformation. <laughs> Bro is spreading misinformation. <laughs> Alright, let's keep on playing. Let's see what rank we are. Oh, only top 92. I thought I was higher up, actually. But we're pushing up quickly. Ah. What happened during CRL? During CRL, I, I, I 2 0 the back the, the only two time Clash Royale League World Champion. I'm still really happy about that. No matter no matter that I got top six, I'm still really happy that I did that. Whew. Yeah, I was also able to double my prize money just by getting top six compared to top eight. Oh yeah, guys, there, there's many more chances. I think there's about five months of CRL in total. This was just one month. I think there's either there's either five or six. I'm pretty sure five, though. So there's going to be like four or five more months. I watch your stream after it's done. Finally, finally good to join the live. Hey, good to see you, man. Good to see you. 
Okay, we're up against this guy. Dude, I saw this guy just blew up on Twitter recently. Basically, he posted a really cool play like three years ago or four years ago, and then, and then it just went viral recently somehow. Because I think someone quote tweeted it just recently. He basically did a play where he had an Electro Wizard coming down and then the opponent tried to pull it to the King Tower. So he went for the Miner on the King Tower and then the NATO pulled it off the King Tower and pushed the E-Wiz back. So then the opponent didn't get the King Tower activation. Probably hard for you guys to understand, but yeah, you get roughly. <laughs> Riley said, Ian, are you in Paris? No, not yet, Riley, not yet. <laughs> I was in the Paris airport though in Finland. I'm actually going to go in for the Evo Bomber. He's going to have to like probably arrows... Oh, wait, what does he have E-Spirit for? Ooh, I don't like to see that, guys. This is not a mirror matchup. He has the E-Spirit, so it's going to allow him to kill our bats and stuff a lot easier. Wait, hold up, guys, hold up. We have so many bats right now. Oh, he has Fireball? Oh, what does he have Fireball for? Oh, that's... That's... Um, I mean, it's not bad, I guess. Could have been, like, Tower Down right there. Wait, is this still Tower Down? How did this just happen? How do we just almost beat this man within a few seconds? Is he going to, like, giant the bridge or something? Okay, luckily he doesn't giant the bridge. Just going to pump up again. We're actually even elixir, or I'm even up a bit. Bro, who makes these meta decks? I think it's the German players. The German players... Uh, this German player named OP Sam, and also I think Morton popularized this deck. Hog Rider in Paris. You disappointed by losing the global tournament, bro? You can't win every single thing. I'm happy with top two. I did, I did better than every player in the game except one single player in the global tournament. If you think about it, you don't have to win everything. You're never gonna win everything. I'm gonna go in for the Evo Zap here. He's starting to fireball our pumps a little bit. We do actually take out the Night Witch. And we got the giant hit, which is really big for us here. Uh, that is an interesting Evo Zap. Pretty good for him, but I think we're fine, so we're just up so much. I thought it was his matchup. I, I think it is his matchup, since he has like the Fireball and the E-Spirit for a quicker cycle, but he's still losing, so... Yeah, I guess we just... You know, I don't want to say outplayed, because we have such a no-skill deck, but he's playing the same no-skill deck, so... Yeah, he can't really be upset about that. Because of you, I started going to the gym. Hey, I love to hear that, man. I love to hear that. I've been, ha I've been having a lot of fun making those Instagram reels on my lifting account. Whew, could you check DMs later? Uh, I mean, I check DMs of certain things, but most of the time, I can't read everything. Okay. <laughs> okay, Riley, Riley did post a kind of strange clip on Twitter. Send your Insta account. It's called EN77Lifts on Instagram. Wow, thank you so much, Red Raider, for the donation. Congratulations on a very well done job at the first monthly finals. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm so happy with it, man. Like, some people were sad I didn't get number one, but I'm just so happy I was even there in the first place. Because I just barely got even into the top 32, and even after that, I still got to the top eight. Even after the top 8, I still got to the top 6. I'm still so happy with that. Really appreciate that, man. Okay, we got a match. We are getting really lucky with our cycle. We're always having our pump pretty early. Which is what you want to see. Dude, pump is so broken. See, I think that's why the Royal Hogs Earthquake deck is good. Oh, he has poison? Wait, what is he running? Whenever you have a pump, if they have a pump too, it's just going to be even. But since he has a poison, it's going to probably be pretty good for him. But it does depend what he's running. Oh, it's Expo? Why do you have poison in Expo? I mean, I guess I did also run a poison Expo deck a little while ago. Oh, that's getting so much damage. No. Can we reset it onto our giant? What? Why is it not reset on our giant? I should have waited a second, I guess. Dude, I think we just lost. To be fair, this should be a hard counter for us, but just the fact that he has poison is going to make it so much better than it should than it should be for him. Because it should be really bad for him, but I feel like it's, it might still be good for us. I'm not sure, but not going to be that good. Oh, dude, that's so annoying. I didn't expect Expo when I saw, like, poison in a pump. 
Bro, that was such a bad play by him. He's not even playing very well, but he is winning. Which is all that matters for him. I actually do want to go same lane in this matchup, so I'll definitely take that damage. <laughs> Yo, Ian, it's my birthday. Can you shout me out? Okay, I'm sorry. I can't say that name, <laughs> I think. <laughs> but happy birthday, man, if it actually is. Someone said I'm from, Ho from Ohio. And honestly, the kind of annoying thing here is that we... If he goes for, like, an expo in the opposite lane, we can't really kill it without our giant because we kind of have to, like, Phoenix and his tower just destroys it. He's probably going to expo. Yeah, I knew it. He does actually let it go, surprisingly. Uh, I guess it's okay. Man, I just don't know if we're going to break through without our Evo Zap. Maybe once we get to our Evo Zap, we can actually break through. The thing is, you can break through for sure in this matchup. It's just so hard when they keep on pestering you with the Expos. Then you can't really make a nice giant push that you want to make, you know? Dude, I don't know what that pressure was by him. It's so bad, but it's kind of annoying because it also does force out our Evo Zap. Maybe I should have played the Giant down low here, but we can still get a nice Evo Bomber, at least. Actually, I feel like our only way to win here is to get a luck lucky Evo Bomber or something. Yeah, I think we lost. It just, if he had Log, we'd have a card counter, but just because we don't have Log, it's pretty, pretty different. He failed the King Tower activation. I feel like he can't really stop our giant too well without the expo. I mean, not without the expo, without the little prince in cycle. He has the defensive expo. But I feel like we lost because we're just down too much damage. If I had a really good start, I could have definitely won this matchup, though. Yeah, he's just going to poison cycle. Can't really do anything. Oh, this is annoying. I don't know since when expo players started playing poison. I'm just going to go for this even into the little prince. I just want it to die. This guy's actually not doing that good plays right now, but he's already up so much. Doesn't really matter. Okay, that was a terrible poison. He's kind of selling, but he's probably still going to win, honestly. If you ask me. Can we arrows this? No, not really. Beautiful arrows, though. Yeah, he's honestly not playing too well right now. Hold up! Do we get the connection? Come on, please, please, please. A little bit more damage, come on. Okay, we get one hit, we get one hit. No connection though, no connection. Ooh, I didn't I didn't let his re little prince reset. Nah, that little prince is gonna wreck us. Oh dude. Dude, this is so annoying. Oh, he missed the poison. Bro, how's that still not dying? Dude, that... Bro, why is that little prince not dying? Dude, that's so annoying. Ah, oh, dude, that little prince did not die for like 10 minutes straight. Yeah, we definitely could have won that if we didn't take so much early damage. Almost a nice comeback, though. I provided an explanation to the reasons of my ban in DMs. Dude, I can't help you with a ban, man. I think you said you got banned on YouTube, right? I can't help you with that. I don't I don't know anything about that. Only YouTube themselves can help you. You're the best, Ian. You inspired me to make my own channel. Hey, love to hear that, man. Love to see these new content creators. Yeah, I know Aragon got perma-banned. When I meet you in Finland, I want to say never back down, and you say never give up. <laughs> I'll try to remember. <laughs> Someone said something about Nate being okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not roast Nate right now. <laughs> you know, I love to take every opportunity I can to roast Nate, but I'll just I'll just let him go for this time. Someone said ban is valid. Yeah, maybe like a three day ban or a one day ban or a one week ban. Not a perma ban. Could be another mirror match. Can you open your lucky box? I'm actually saving it for a video. 
They got banned for the Lucky Bulk Squeech. Okay, this could be good, but it could also be very bad. We just got kind of forced into a bad situation due to not having our pump. Oh my. Okay, wait, that's not bad. That's not bad. I thought it was bad because he got really good arrows, but... Uh, <laughs> you know, his tower is gone. Now, we, now it's just a matter of can we defend. See, I'm not sure if we can defend because he, he actually has his pump at pretty high HP still, so he's going to get a lot of elixir. Falling asleep, your voice is too ASMR. Good night. <laughs> All right, good night, Faith. Man, I don't know how long you stayed up last night, Faith, because that's a pretty early time to sleep. <laughs> if I didn't already get banned for the glitch, should I be okay? Yeah, you probably will. Dude, the thing that's kind of annoying about it is that they, they just banned some people for it, but not everyone. It's very odd. They kind of just did like a cherry pick of who to ban and who not to ban, I guess. Not really sure why they did that. Uh, honestly, pretty bad arrows by that guy. Weren't really going to do anything for him. Oh yeah, Archer Queen is very good, yeah. It's the second best champion, probably. Or may maybe Skelly King is, but it's kind of up there for sure. He might try to Giant soon, we have to be careful. Did any top players get banned for it? Oh, tons of them, tons of them. It was actually mostly top players who got banned for it. Not many casuals got banned for that for that glitch. Oh, dude, how did that get the second shot? Honestly, that's a lot of damage, but a little bit less than I was expecting. Buff Skelly King. Okay, what are you talking about, pal? Nerf Skelly King, if anything. It's definitely an annoying card. I'm gonna zap all of this. He might try to make a double lane push here. He actually has no Night Witch, it looks like. <laughs> really nice double bounce. Love to see that. Yeah, he does decide to go on this side as well. But I feel like we're all good here. Nothing to worry about, guys. Nothing to worry about. Oh, I can't believe you've done this. <clears throat> Buff mirror and clone. No, no, no. Well, actually, okay, I'll, honestly, I wouldn't mind a mirror buff, but it would just be toxic to see, like, those those E-Giant mirror decks. Except now, instead of E-Giant mirror, it would probably be some other broken wing condition with mirror. Ian bullying kids. We're actually doing quite well. That Expo player did bully me, though, in the previous match. If I knew he had Expo, I would have been more defensive, but nobody really plays Expo with pump, so didn't expect that. What's up with the new video titles? I think my thumbnail designer is just trying out something different. Can you show a 1 EVO deck? I mean, most of the decks that you run 2 EVOs in can be fine with 1 EVO as well. Like the Goblin Show deck, you just play EVO Bomber only and don't have EVO Tesla. Oh, uh, let's see. What number in the world are you? I'm currently top 70. Is he? No, I'm not in the first place yet on the CR leaderboard. My favorite moment of CRL, Ian pulling out the good game in a monthly final and win. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, dude, guys, I don't know if you saw, but I early GG'd Moogie, and then I still ended up winning. Oh, we're facing Hunter. Someone wanted me to snipe him, but we just have a normal deck against him. Dude, Hunter probably has matchup against us. All he has to do is defend all game, and we can't break through. Oh, he actually has Goblin Show. Thought he had Expo, but... I mean, I guess that's okay. That's a lot of damage, though. Thank you so much, King Kong, for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Dude, why does he have P.E.K.K.A? What? Dude, why does he have... Yo, did he snipe me? Wait, did he snipe me or is he just running a random P.E.K.K.A deck for no reason? Yo, guys, why does he have P.E.K.K.A? Oh, it's a fake hunter? Oh, for real? Wait, for real? Oh, yeah, I think maybe he's... Wait, what is he playing, though? I thought he was playing P.E.K.K.A bridge spam. Why does he have... Like, this... Dude, I actually thought it was Hunter for a second. I thought Hunter sniped us. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so annoying. The bomber. Wait, hold up. We just go aggressive. He wasted so much elixir. If he gets away with this, I'm going to be pretty surprised. Wait, dude, do we just win? Okay, we didn't win, but that's a lot of damage. The Night Witch isn't on the Little Prince, but the one bat is doing work on it. Yo, let's go. Dude, This I thought this guy had a snipe deck. Honestly, he probably has a good matchup, but he's still... He's still losing for some reason. Didn't hit the little prince fully, but it's fine for me. That's still gonna die regardless. 
Very bad bats by him. Let's go. Thank you so much, Gerardo, for the donation. Play one game with P.E.K.K.A., Mega Knight, Mirror, and Clone. Dude, I'm just going to lose with that. Bro, that's just asking for me to lose. There's no chance to win with that. I mean, I guess I can try just for the just for the heck of it, even though it's a guaranteed loss. I'm actually let that go. It's going to get a lot of damage, but I feel like it's not the end of the world. Kind of curious to see what he does here. I'm just going to kill this thing. Ooh. Dude, what is he doing? This man is lost. Blood is lost. <laughs> Blood is lost right now. What is he doing? <laughs> He's just going to fireball this, I guess, but that's fine by me. Oh, Bomber, Bomber, what are you... Bomber, are you lost, buddy? What are you doing? Dude, my Bomber just got lost, dude. <laughs> my Bomber just got lost looking for his parents <laughs> or something. <laughs> dude. What kind of a bomber was that? <laughs> My cards are lost today, man. <laughs> but I think we got him. Yeah, good game. To the fake hunter. Thank you so much, King Kong, again for the donation. Sad to see what CRL did to top players and content creators who spent thousands on the game. And I've been a member for over a month, you biscuit head. Wait, why did it say... Dude, it said you became a member. Oh no, it said, oh King Kong, it said you became a, you were a member for one month today. I, I misread it. You didn't just become a member, you, you just became a member for one month today. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, dude, it's pretty sad that they, they just banned people like that. Anyways, I, I know some guy donated, he said like to play like Mega Knight something, Mirror Clone. I can't even see what it says anymore because the donation disappeared for me, but uh, I know it was like Mega Knight and Clone or something and Mirror. I'm just wondering if I can come to a compromise with him. Maybe I can compromise with him and put a mirror or like a Mega Knight. Okay, maybe I'll, I'll put two of the cards. I'm probably just going to get a free loss here, unfortunately, but just to just to be nice, I'll play I'll play I'll play at least half of the cards. Okay, I hope he's okay with that. Hope he doesn't get mad at me <laughs> for only putting a couple of the cards. He said, "Yeah, let's try this because we can't just have a free loss. You know, we at least have to have a chance to win." Yeah, and also King Kong, it seems like they were kind of targeting the top players just to make an example out of them. Because a lot of the casual players didn't get banned for it. They just wanted to make an example of the bigger players, I guess. Thank you so much, Legendary Clash, for the donation. I love your videos. I watch it every day. Keep going. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, I had a great video today, especially. I liked my CRL video quite a bit. Seems to be doing great so far. Dude, this man is not going to know what to expect. This man does. This man is not ready. Offensive pump deck. Dude. Wait, what? Champions can't be mirrored? Oh. Okay. Whew. Can you open a Mega Lightning chest for me? I don't know about that. Dude, I can't I can't open my prized possessions. Dude, I honestly wonder if this is gonna work. Guys, I think we died here, most likely. See, there's potential that we just die here and can't defend at all, but there's also a chance that something could happen. There's a small chance, but I don't think so. Wait, why does he have... Oh, he doesn't have Balloon even. Do we have such a weird thing? Oh, okay, Phoenix is on the Baby Dragon. I thought it might get on the Lava Hound instead, which would have been very bad. Dude, this guy's a Muffin Head, dude. Dude, this guy's nothing but a Muffin Head right now, dude. Buddy. 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 Oh, come on, no, I wasted the Elixir. Man. Dude, I could have just activated my King Tower in, in all honesty, but that's not bad either. Wait, dude. We're getting so much elixir. Come on, come on, go night witch, night witch, night witch. Come on, get our get our zap, get our zap, get our zap. Come on, get our zap, get our zap. And a mirror zap, and a mirror zap. Oh, did he mess up? Did he mess up? Oh no, it's still on the still on the night witch. Not bad though, not bad. Dude, I'm telling you, this guy's a muffin head. This guy's an absolute muffin head. Someone said oil up. Dude, this guy has to oil up after what just happened to him. Not me. Yo, this guy in the chat, dude, who who gave me this deck. We're actually doing well with it. Wait, the thing is, I don't know what he has. Like, I don't know if he has, uh, like, a Valkyrie or something. Hope not. Okay, I guess he probably doesn't. Okay. 
Well, you know what? We have our Evo Zap. Dude, we could go for a Mirror Knight, which if we have to. I don't think we have to, though. Dude, we can just go in for this, so then Evo Zap, and it's gonna just wreck everything. Dude! Dude, this is so fun. We got, like, the one good matchup. This is, like, the one good matchup. Okay, maybe it's not the one good matchup. This deck is actually good. Yo, this deck is actually good. Maybe I'm tripping. This deck is actually good. <laughs> Yo. This is crazy. Someone said broil up. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? <laughs> Dude, this is actually crazy. Dude, this, this feels like right when Phoenix was released. This, this is the type of deck that people would play right when Phoenix got released in the game. Look, go in for a Lava Hound, I dare you. I dare you. Go for a Lava at the bridge, I dare you. Dude, I dare this guy. <laughs> Dude, this deck hard counters Lava Hound. That's why I like it a lot, because Lava Hound is really good in this meta. Dude, that was crazy. I got banned on this channel main account. I made a new account just to still watch you live. Oh, why did you get banned for? Probably one of my mods might have banned you. Because I never banned anyone. I only ever put people on timeout. I don't actually want my, my mods to ban people for the most part. I just want them to timeout people who spam sometimes. I thought you meant you got banned on YouTube first. I thought you meant like you had a YouTube channel and it got banned. That's why I was saying just you have to talk to YouTube at first. <clears throat> and what do you think about Mo being Adriel twice? That final was insane. Yeah, it was pretty crazy, but Mo had it under control most of the time. To be honest, I feel like I was the I was the player who could have had a chance to beat Mo. I mean, anyone could have a chance, of course, but I feel like I, I, de I definitely could have had a chance if I was in the upper bracket, especially facing him in the lower bracket. But unfortunately... Hussiel was able to beat me. If I beat Hussiel and then, and then beat Adriel after, I feel like I maybe could have won the whole thing, but who knows though. We'll just have to see what happens next month now. But anyways, top six is really good because I'm going to get so many points for it. And also, one player will qualify to world finals off of points, but only one player. Okay, we got a... Oh, we're up against Morton. Yeah, so Morton, Morton faced me in the CRL monthly final. Dude, I heard Morton in his video, he said I always play these E-Golem decks and stuff like that. <laughs> but Morton always play these, plays these giant decks and stuff, so he can't complain. <laughs> that will get one hit on our tower, unfortunately, but it's okay. He has no poison now for these. Oh, he's playing Miner, probably. I'm gonna Arrows here still, I just don't want to take too much damage. Maybe could have Zapped instead, but it's okay. Martin cooked you in CRL. Well, it doesn't really matter what happens one time, right? What matters is, is the big picture for who qualifies to CRL and, you know. I mean, World Finals are really what matters the most, I feel like. Don't know if this will be much damage for us, but it is a little something. Oh, I could have... Dude, I could have got a, such a good Evo Bomb, but I just wanted to defend the Ghost well first, you know. But that's still some damage. Not bad. Kind of an aggressive ability. Not a great ability by him, but not that bad either, to be fair. Play MK again? I don't know if MK would work in that many matchups. We just kind of got away with it there because we had like 10 pumps down against the Lava player. We're definitely up some good elixir right now. Please play 3M. Dude, this is like the modern day 3M. Except instead of the 3M itself, we have... Little Prince Knight, which Phoenix as our trio. I'll just let this go here. Can't do too much about it. Wait, that Phoenix? Okay, I was going to say it could do something, but no, I don't think so. I honestly feel like Morton's probably going to win here, but we'll see. You know, if we can pull anything off here, anything crazy. Because I feel like Morton's just going to slowly come back with his spell cycle and things. We'll see, though. Okay, I'm just going to go for this, like so. Dude, I want to Evo Bomber so badly, but it's just like not much to actually do it on. Hmm. Dude, the Evo Tussle is going to be so tough to break through too. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's just weird right now. Interesting ghost. Dude, Morton is going crazy with this spell cycle. Oh my. 
Oh my. He's not getting too much damage on our towers though at least, but he's kind of just spell cycling us out at this point. Thanks so much Gerardo for the donation. Let me check what he said in a second here. E giant fire wizard ice tiny mirror, trust me. Dude, I'm not going to trust you on that. I'm sorry. But maybe I can try it. I'm not sure. What was that bomber for by Morton? He's probably going to block our Evo bomber if he's smart. Ooh, we do get the one bounce though. Double bounce, which is great. I'm just going to keep on spamming giants. Dude, Morton is poison cycling us so hard right now. What the heck? Wait, our phoenix, our phoenix. Dude. Dude, people, people were saying I'm not going to beat him, but I, I feel like I can. I feel like I can. I feel like we can definitely win here. Dude, I told you guys. I told you guys, dude. Some people were saying how Morton cooked me. Now we cook Morton. Let's go. Let's go. That makes it one to one. He beat me in CRL two to one, but we got him now. So now, we're, actually, now me and Morton are two to two in the last two days. So I'll call it even. <laughs> Play the most toxic deck. This is probably the most toxic deck. It's the deck that Morton invented, actually. Wow, currently top 25. He said E-Giant Fire Wizard. Oh my. Dude, Gerardo, I don't know though, dude. I want to play your decks when you donate, but at the same time, I, I don't want to just make it boring and just lose, lose for no reason on the stream, you know? So I do want to put it out there. If you donate, I'll probably play your deck, but I reserve the right to not play your deck as well but i'll play it i'll play it all good though all good thanks so much uneasy mug for the donation as well dude i don't know if i put the mirror though i feel like i feel like i just have to do this trio if i put the mirror i'm just gonna get a guaranteed loss which is just, just not gonna be good <laughs> so i hope you can be fine with this as well hope he's okay with it okay let me see what else to put in here I mean, we actually have a chance to win. I just don't see E-Giant much on top ladder. It's used a little bit in CRL, but that's about it. Hmm, so what else do we need? Like a building, I guess? We kind of have, have this wizard instead of like a bowler or whatever. Someone said mirror. Yeah, I don't think I'll run mirror though, because that would just be a guaranteed loss, to be honest. So yeah, I, I'm just going to hope that the guy is okay if I run this deck. I could also put cannon over cage. Maybe I actually will put cannon over cage. Or actually, no, never mind. I'll put cage. I'll put cage. <laughs> Someone said trust. No, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. <laughs> okay, let's run it. Let's run it. He said, that, Gerardo said that's fine. Okay, let's see. Let's see. This could work out if we get a decent matchup. But E-Giant can be quite matchup based sometimes. Try Mo Ice Golem deck. Yeah, maybe next stream I'll actually try it. Maybe next, yeah, maybe sometime soon I'll try it if if it still remains a good deck. That was an unlucky Sparky Splash in that game one. No, I think that wasn't game one. I'm pretty sure that was game three. Yeah, I played the Mother Witch because I was thinking the Sparky might splash, but then I played it like a second too late. And also, dude, Riley was on call with me and he said the Sparky wouldn't splash, but I knew it would splash probably. So I went for the Mother Witch, but then it just like half a second too late. To be fair, though, it was a really hard matchup. Me and my coach were thinking of putting Phoenix instead of the Mother Witch, but we just barely decided to put Mother Witch. If I had Phoenix, that would have been a good matchup against Sparky, but when you have Mother Witch and that slow cycle, you just can't really defend well. I actually played really well that that uh, RG versus Sparky game. Just that one Sparky splash is what messed me up. That's the one misplay. No, it's not Riley's fault. He was just on call with me. You know, it's not his job to play the game for me. <laughs> but yeah, we did pretty well overall still. Someone said Leroy is the GOAT. Oh, you mean LeBron Jenkins? Someone said. Juicy J got top 10 with E-Giant. Oh, you mean early season or a finish with it? Because I'm pretty sure he never got a top 10 finish ever. Early season doesn't really mean anything. When's 140 bench in incoming? Oh, you mean 140 kilograms? Do you work out legs? Oh, of course I do. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't you work out legs? Oh, we're facing the number one E-Giant player right now. Or at least one of the top E-Giant players. I don't know if he's playing E-Giant, though. 
He might not be. Do a deadlift video? I might sometime. I don't really deadlift though, but I might show my first time deadlifting. I deadlifted like one time before, so I guess it'll be my second time deadlifting. So what is this? I'm actually not sure. Hmm. Kind of have to lightning. Oh, it might be giant. Oh, I think he's playing the deck we just finished playing. You would think it's a good matchup since he has no building, but I feel like e Giant is just so bad now that he's still probably going to beat us. Wait, why does he have Bowler, though? I'm just going to e Giant into that. I hope we don't get punished too hard for it. Okay, he might just Giant the Bridge. Dude, the, I guarantee you the Bowler is going to splash in our tower. I guarantee you it's going to splash in our tower at least a little bit. Honestly, that's not bad for us here on the uh, left side. You know, the wizard's actually putting in the work here. I gotta admit that. That was actually not a half bad wizard. e Giant won't really do much, though. The thing is, Little Prince destroys it. But still a little bit of damage. That wasn't a bad start. That could have been a lot worse. I don't even mind the Ice Spirit in this deck either, just to help keep our cycle a bit quicker. To keep on keep on cycling and having our lightning for his pump. Ice bow or fire bow? <laughs> I would say ice bow, but maybe I'll change my mind after this match if, if wizard does a good job. Guys, the issue here is that once he gets to the Evo Zap, he's gonna destroy the wizard. Let me just go in for the goblin cage. I guess we can E-Giant into this. Okay, he might go for the Giant on the other side. Come on, Evo Bomber. Yo, that's good, that's good. Good stuff, good stuff. He does have the Evo Zap though, so yeah, all he has to do is just play those arrows. Wait, he missed the arrows! He missed the arrows, that's huge. Yo, that's great. Okay, let me just keep on playing my cards. I'm trying to see what people are saying, but Alice have to focus at the same time. I'm gonna Lightning here, just don't want to deal with the Little Prince. I feel like it's such an annoying card sometimes. No! Dude. Did that really, did that really deserve to connect to the tower? I don't feel like that deserved that. Oh, dude, that's so bad. Man. We had everything going for us until that happened. He's gonna ability, right? That's a nice Evo Bomber, though. Oh, uh, the thing is, Little Prince is actually not half bad, though. His deck is just so annoying, I feel like. Every card in his deck is just annoying to face. He might, he might even defensive pump against us. Okay, that's a free Lightning. I'll take that, though. I just don't like facing the bowler in this matchup. No, wizard, go back, go back, wizard. No, wizard, please. Do something, dang it. Now we lost. Hmm. He said well played. Man, why are you BMing me playing this deck? I feel like he might have think he might he might think that I sniped him, but I feel like it's actually not not a half bad matchup for him. But definitely could have played better. Bro, why is he BMing for? Bruh. Okay, to be fair, I'm playing a toxic deck too. He is as well, <laughs> so I can't complain. You lost, not we. No, no, Christian, we lost, dude. We lost. <laughs> we lost. We're in this together. <laughs> We're in this together. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Wait, what did he have? He had, he had like Bowler instead of what? Oh, he had Bowler instead of Phoenix. Not even sure if I would have won even if he had Phoenix, to be honest. Okay, so I guess I'll play some more Giant. I, dude, look how much Giant we're facing. Or not like Giant, but just like all these either Lava decks, some Giant, you know, some Expo. Pigsy Q could actually do a pretty good job. Hmm. I'm 
Not sure what I want to do here. I guess I might continue with this deck. We were doing pretty well with it for the most part. Beat most people. Ian ignoring most of the comment section? What do you mean? I'm trying to read the chat, but sometimes during during intense matches I don't. That causes has very high skill. Ah. Dude, this, some of these people can't be real people in the chat, dude. This can't be real people. Oh, is he actually playing log bait? Looks like it. I'm gonna zap here just to buy our knight, which a little bit of time to spawn more bats and whatnot. So he probably has poison too. Oh, this will be tough, man. This will be tough. If they have rocket, maybe it's not half bad, but poison will definitely help him out quite a bit. Okay, what does he do here? Does he poison? Yeah, he does poison. I mean, to be fair, even though Inferno Tower is going to be pretty bad for us here, our Night Witch will counter it decently with the bats to distract, and also Evo Zap, of course, is going to do a great job as well. So we do have a chance. Why would he bridge Princess? That's pr that's pretty dumb, I feel like, but he's, he's going to get away with it, probably. Let's be honest. The execute Order 66, someone said. Wait, what is he doing? <laughs> Wait, what is that for? Dude, he's still gonna get away with it, though. I guarantee you, man. He's a log bait player. What do you expect? Oh, I can't believe they didn't start chaining. Oh, thank the thank the loud. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I think we just beat him. Dude, he choked, dude. He choked so hard. He choked so hard. Let's go. Oh, he just barreled our king tower. Okay, we just need uh need to three crown him. Smartest log bait player, someone said. <laughs> Hating on log bait when it's off meta is weird. Dude, it's just a joke. You must be you must be fun to hang out with. <laughs> but I mean to be fair, I actually do hate on log bait a little bit. It's an annoying deck to face even if it is bad at bad in this meta. Oh shoot, I forgot to put on subscribers only mode. I just realized that's why the chat was spamming so much today. Because normally I always try to put it in subscribers only mode. Oh snap, okay, well. Let's keep going. Oh yeah guys, don't forget to claim these gem rewards. Dude, Supercell is so dirty with this. Look what they did. They just put the gem icon like this. You see like these are like vibe, like this is like jumping up and down this box to know you claimed it, know you can claim it. Well, the gems, they just decide to not put anything. So most people forget to click on it, but you can actually claim these free gems here don't forget about that i almost forgot myself actually how do i get those gems i think they should just be on the screen where they are for me so people don't have it wait why, why don't you guys have it i'm actually not sure why <laughs> maybe super Saiyan just doesn't like you they probably like me that's why I get, i'm getting special treatment <laughs> dude i don't even need the gems though but you guys probably want the gems more than i do i already have a lot of gems i don't i don't even need it but yeah, they actually give 500 on the last day. I wonder if only certain people get it. Do any of you have it? Wait, actually nobody has it except me. Dude, Supercell loves me. <laughs> what was your biggest learning for next month's CRL? I mean, I don't know actually. It's just like, uh, I'm just going to have to get more and more used to playing in the top 8 in these high intensity situations. I feel like I'm already a lot more calm than I used to be. Uh in these intense situations, but yeah, I did have a good game plan in some matches. I feel like against Moogie I had a super good game plan, and against Hustiel I also had a good game plan. Just got a couple couple bad interactions, like at the very end against Hustiel, the Bomber stole it from me, then in the third game, Sparky stole it from me, but against Morton I feel like I could have maybe, I mean I definitely could have won the first match easily against him. And the third match, I'm not really sure if I should have won that, just the Evo RG kind of wrecked me sometimes, but yeah, maybe... Maybe against Morton, I could have done a little bit better there, so I'm just going to make sure I, st I still stay really focused next time, even when I'm with my back up against the wall like that.
might be for players in Ultimate Champion League. Wait, I don't even know why. Well, thank you very much, Drake, for the donation. He said it starts on the 19th for some people. Oh, so I guess, I guess maybe for you guys it'll, or, or for like a lot of you guys, it'll start later. The gem, gem dash thing. Not sure why. Why didn't you get a ban as well, like Riley? Bro, why would I get a ban for? I didn't even do the glitch. <laughs> Ian, I have the gems on my main, but not on my ult. They said it'll be on the 19th. Oh, that's strange. Wait, look, look, look what he said, guys. Look at his clan name. He said IBM equals you boosty. Oh, I think he meant to say you boosted. Dude, he's probably going to BM us because we have a pretty boosted deck. But is he playing the same deck? Bro. Why is your clan name IBM equals you boosted while he's playing the most boosted deck in the meta? That's just a little bit peculiar, but you know. Just a little bit peculiar. Wait, why are we up so much elixir right now? <laughs> I knew I was up a little bit of elixir, not that much. Okay, you're boosted too, buddy. You're playing the same. Oh, he has mini P.E.K.K.A. though, instead of, I guess, Night Witch, maybe? We have a little something going on here. Not too much, though. Yeah, our push kind of just got wrecked. The mini P.E.K.K.A., I feel like, isn't quite as good at the night as the Night Witch in this matchup, but it's still quite good. Wait, this might be something. He's probably pretty low elixir. What does he have for this? Yo, he has nothing. Watch him start BMing. He's going to start BMing. Wait, do we get... Oh, that's not going to be on tower too much. Or will it? Or will it? Okay, it does get the tower shot. Yo, let's go. Oh, this makes me so happy. I don't know if that's going to die. I think it will, though. And now we evo zap his pump. Okay, that just barely died. Dude, he's so dead. Yo, he's so dead. Thank you so much, John Cena, for the donation. Uh, John Cena said, Ian, let me actually read this in a second here after I can hopefully defend this push. Dude, I might be dead myself. Oh, dude, I'm dead. Okay, at least start. Oh, man, I messed up, dude. Maybe the Evo Zap was an overcommitment by me. Yo, he's BMing us. Dude, I'm trying to read John Cena's message, but this is just too intense right now. Yo, he messed up a little bit, but probably doesn't matter much. No, our little prince died. Hopefully he doesn't ability too quickly. No, he does. Yo, that almost got his tower, though. Wait, hold up, hold up, guys. Hold up, hold up. Oh, dude, I think we lost, though. We have to make him pe spend his spells on defense here. That's what we have to do right now. Okay, he is doing that. He is doing that. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, let's go, let's go. You want it to BM me early? You want it to BM early? You want it to put the thumbs up emote for me? Don't try BMing me early next time, buddy. <laughs> Let me yawn on him. All right. Uh, he said, yo, Ian, do you feel left out when your friends are dating? You said you don't date. I tried to do that too, but I feel like I'm missing out. Any tips? I mean, it depends on you because... Uh, the way we do it here, it's like it's like kind of differently. I'm not sure if if you're like religious or not, or uh, how you do things exactly. Uh, but no, I don't really feel left out. I mean, to be fair, dude, I swear, like so many people are gonna end up single in this generation. Definitely, some of my friends are dating a bit, but also a lot of them are just are just like trying to say they're gonna be single for life or something. Maybe they want to have a partner, but they just can't find one. I don't know if it's like that for you guys too, but I feel like a lot of my friends, even though that, even though we're already turning like 19 and 20, a lot of my friends still don't have anyone. But yeah, I don't, I don't really feel left out. It really depends like what you're what you're trying to do, how you're trying to do things. Okay, let's see what rank we are actually. 24, 24, not bad. Surprisingly, we're, we're winning a lot today. Yeah, I'm Christian. Wait, John Cena, so, so how do you plan to find someone then? That's my question. Like, how do you, how do you guys do it? in your family or whatever. All right, take care, Roms Realist. Whew, okay. Hi, Tucker.
Are you in the unbanned Aragon clan? No, I think I have no clan right now, but I'm probably gonna join back uh, the fatherless clan. Yo, congrats to that guy. I don't know how to say your name. I think it's like Terauda. He said, I'm 21 and in a couple months I'm getting married. Yo, that's huge, man. Really happy to hear that. Let's go. I hear a lot of people saying like it's too young to get married at a certain age, but I feel like it's not really that much about age. As long as you're as long as you're a little bit mature, if if you find the right person, you find the right person, you know. The quickest way to level up cards probably to do the to, to do the lucky drop glitch like like Riley and Aragon did, but then you're gonna probably get um get banned. <laughs> so I would say just to play Clan Wars, you know, always make sure you get the lucky drop each day. Obviously, get your crowns for the pass rail and everything like that. Will you leave the Supercell Creator program? No, I won't. There's no reason for me to. By being in the program, you can get access to sneak peeks and, you know, have your creator code and stuff. There's not really any reason to leave for me. Whew. Dude, Pump is so broken. If I just played an Earthquake deck, I would hard counter every single one of them. Maybe I really do have to play an Earthquake deck. Probably next stream, I'll play either Piggy's Earthquake or maybe that Minor Poison deck with Ice Golem. Oh, he has Golem. I mean, to be fair, I don't know if this matchup is too bad, but I feel like it's a little bit bad. Because, I, cause I mean, usually the heavier beatdown deck is going to win most of the time. Ooh, he doesn't Tornado. Oh, he does Tornado, but very late. No, we can't kill the E-Drag. Or do we, do we kill it? Do we kill it? Oh, we, we, we do kill it, but it just took way too long, man. I'm going to force him to go ahead and... Oh, wait, I just realized he doesn't even have barbs in his deck. I thought he had barbs for a second, but then I realized he has just knight instead, I guess. I mean, not, not a good start, uh, but not horrible, I guess. I kind of want to pressure when he played the pump, but we were up an elixir, so... Yeah. I feel like we probably lost this match, though, unless he makes a misplay. Just gonna be pretty tough to break through. I mean, our one thing is Evo Bomber, but it's just not gonna be enough, you know? It's gonna do something, but just not what we need, exactly. Can we do first out the Evo Knight? I wouldn't really say that's too good for us, but it's not bad either. I really do want to try to kill this knight, honestly. Dude, this is so annoying. Oh my. Dude, this is getting annoying. <laughs> I can't lie. Just gonna go for this. He's probably gonna E-drag again or do something annoying for us. Not bad arrows right there. Also, the, guys, the healer's just gonna ruin our career, I swear. We're gonna be looking all good at them. He's just gonna healer than our... Dude, how do we kill anything? How the heck do we kill anything? I'm just going to giant the bridge. Dude, the E-drag die, please. We get that you want to live to a nice long age, but dude, you got to die someday. Oh, goodness sake. Okay, wait, this is good. This is good. We can't defend though. We can't defend, guys. We can't defend. Okay, Evo Sap kills it. Yo, do we win do we win the do we win the bad matchup? Do we win the bad matchup? I think we do. I think we just won. Yeah, we just won. Dude, I swear that has to be a bad matchup. But we destroyed him. Someone said you're dead. <laughs> I was almost dead until I until I destroyed him. <laughs> okay, top 18. Alright guys, I will call this stream here. I'm going to go eat lunch and stuff like that soon, but I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you all for watching.